All right, February 8th, Thursday, February 8th, uh, 2024, Massachusetts Power Party member meeting. Um, my name's James O'Keefe, uh, Somerville, um, also captain, uh, at least for now. Um, other people here? Joseph Please identify. Of you have a lack of Arlington, Massachusetts. Excellent. Um, so is there any changes to the uh, agenda? Okay, seeing none. Uh, so for reports, we had the conference. Uh, the conference video is up um, uh, appropriately tagged with all details. Um, Pirate News is up. Uh, I don't think a previous pirate news is up. Uh, I don't think there's any other. I think I put the meeting, the last meeting. Yeah, I put the last meeting up as well. So there's no outstanding videos. Um, Steve, you got the notes. Thank you. And um, that's the only update I have for reports. I don't have anything else. Anyone else have reports? Nothing, here. Nothing to add at this time. Okay. Um, so, uh, um, so Joe, um, I, I had notified you that I needed a reimbursement for some uh, printing I did. Did you happen to get that? I did not. I've been okay. working my crazy hours this week. Okay. So I apologize. All right. Um, and since you're going to be stepping down, um, uh, we'll we'll have to talk about uh, getting the checkbook and all that other stuff from you. Um, of course. Okay. Uh, so on the on decisions and endorsements, uh, as I said, you're stepping down, and we have someone who's agreed to be temporary quartermaster, uh, which is a fellow pirate and my wife, Melanie Campbell, who has been a treasurer of past campaigns of mine. Um, is there information that you all want beyond what I've stated? Yes. Do you trust this woman? With my life. She I mean, we've we've been married for over 30 years, so yeah. <laughs> she is such a wonderful, wonderful lady. Every time I've ever meet her, met her, she's always been so nice. And, you know, I couldn't trust her more. So, and I'm sure you do too. And I am grateful that she's doing it. Uh, is there any hope of not putting too much pressure on her? Um, in the sense that do we have any other possible candidates out there? Not at the choose? moment. But, you know, over over the next six months or so, we can, you know... As as we identify more people, hopefully someone will step forward and be willing to do that. Okay, I'm really, I've really enjoyed the post. I think that there's something to be said though that my duties to it have been somewhat lacking these last few months, and I just absolutely appreciate everything that you've done. Help support me in that role, Jamie, and Steve. I wonder if I had a question for you too, Steve. Um, uh -huh. And if it gets to the point where I'm no longer running for office or a part of the office, then I will, of course, um, if there is still need or something else you guys need of me, I'll be more than happy to do whatever role is necessary. And I'm still hoping to do the, the video conference or the video newsletter. I think that's a really important piece that's really um, 
had some far-reaching impact. So it's not like I'm going away. You're still going to have to deal with me. Sorry. But... <laughs> Um, uh, Steve, do you have any questions? Uh, no questions. Okay. Um, so, um, motion to vote. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to say it this way. Um, motion to elect Melanie Campbell quartermaster, um, starting, uh, today's the eighth. So starting on Saturday the 10th, so you, Joe, can write the check to reimburse me because it, it feels strange if, <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know, it just feels a little strange to me to have Melanie do that uh, since that was, a, that was incurred, you know, uh, on your term. So are, are you okay with that, that amend, amendment? To elect her, uh, start, I, to have her serve starting the 10th. We could even do it on the 13th if that feels more comfortable for you. Um, but I would no, be I mean, happy the 10th to... is fine. I just, I, you know, if you could just write the check um, and then you can mail it to me when, when you mail it to me. But is that okay? Okay. Right. Um, yeah, that that's fine. Uh, I'll get... I'll try and get that check to you probably done this weekend. So okay, and I'll I'll okay. send you I'll I'll send you the I'll send you the details. So I don't know maybe they got lost on somewhere along the way. Uh, so I guess all all with that uh, all in favor and and this is just to be clear this is also only electing her um, for the duration until the actual member election occurs so this is kind of a temporary temporary thing <laughs> just to be clear yeah and she'll still be on the ballot correct she'll uh, be yes yeah, she'll be on the ballot yeah okay uh so all in favor of that of, of electing her for this duration of three or so weeks Aye. And I'll abstain because I should. So, um, okay, motion passes. Um, Joe, any update? Thank you very much. Any update on the U.S. Pirate Party? So, um, I wasn't able to connect to the last meeting. I know that I was supposed to send out a letter about the PPI situation. Um, there's okay. been some disdain about um, us going down to just observer status for the PPI, but the PPI pushed back saying, don't do that. We're not going to ask anything of you because of the fact that uh, the PPI was like, well, we give you guys legitimacy and a big part of you just being a member of us gives us legitimacy. So we're not going to ask anything of you or charge you anything for it. Just stay full members. So I think that's actually kind of a good deal. Whereas we're not, re they're not really asking us to really do anything, but just be a part of the organization because even loosely associated. And I think that's a good idea because we're all of the same moral and like we both, we help each other out on occasion. Liz is still doing the international thing. Um, and I don't think it's a good idea to really cut ties or push back. And if they're not really asking stuff from us, then it's not really going to burden us. So that that's a thing. But I haven't had a chance for what, whatever reason, like the last meeting didn't happen because whatever. And... Um, I guess there was a lot of issues with people connecting and the captain, the honorable captain from Pennsylvania wasn't able to attend. So it kind of just fell apart. 
It became an power. There were power issues with the person who was going to be running the live stream, if I recall correctly. So yeah, so yeah. it just kind of like fell apart. Um, no, the thing is meaningful. that when yeah, so this week will probably happen. I'll finally be able to give that report, and uh, I did finally was able to email all the hard copy to Ben, the auditor mm-hmm. person of pretty much everything that has ever happened ever with the bank account for the uh, PPI. And so he's going to go through it. He's actually going to whip out some budgets and stuff um, cool. and try and do some creative things for that front. You know, so... So, I mean, things are happening. The the chair, the platform committee is still working, and as semi intended, it, they're still coming up with good policies. Um, I'm not sure if the IT meeting has met, but there's also okay. uh, the swarm care is kind of like the is like the dark arts position. The Harry Potter dark arts position is like the swarm care. It seems to burn everybody out who touches it. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's such a good building position. And right now, V has been doing a lot of that work. Uh, v also did some uh, work with the PPI. But um, yeah, I think that's that's about all that's going on. There was some drama going on on the Discord, but um, I didn't really get the gist of it. But okay. I'm sure it's all there on the on the Discord. Yes, I'm sure it'll be easy to find amidst all of the channels. <laughs> all right. Thank you for that update, Joe. So for elections, um, I, I apologize. I've just been swamped with work. Uh, and I've only had time, a little bit of time for family. Um, so, and last weekend was you know, with the conference and getting everything ready and afterwards it took a lot out of me. So I'm hoping to get the um, ballot done and the election and and the election and the ballots out um, hopefully by tomorrow, but certainly this weekend. And then the clock will start for the three weeks that are required. So it's getting there, just not quite there yet. Um, and then, so 2024, um, so we, someone had, a uh, person stepped forward and said they would get the list of contacts. I've followed up with them. Uh, they still haven't gotten back to me about that. Contacts for cities and towns. Um, Steve, you said you might, you would be able to do it. Should I send another Uh, email? Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, I had myself muted. Um, if you have, um, like the place where this list of clerks or whatever is stored, just send it to me and I'll see what I can do with it. Okay. Yeah, it's a web page. I'll I'll send it to you after this meeting. Thank you. If you want me to send it one more email, that's I'm I'm you know I'm fine with that. And uh, yeah. I know you got a lot on your plate. But. Uh, let me uh, give me what you got, and I'll see what I can do with it. Cool. Hopefully, it is it is in a parsable format. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so um, mailing members, voters, yeah, it's a bunch of things to do there. Haven't been done. Uh, so video newsletter podcast. Uh, wow, i got to do more than just cut and paste here. Um, does this weekend work? Yeah. The Sunday? Uh, yes. Okay. Then I will go and schedule that. Any good topics to discuss? Anyone seen anything? 
It's not okay. offhand, but I can look. Okay. I mean, other than Nikki Haley being a complete liar and a hypocrite and pandering. Um, no, not I mean, really. That's a <laughs> Sorry. But, she, <laughs> but she's, uh, like, if it's a choice between Donald Trump, Nikki Haley, and Joe Biden, I'm going for Joe Biden. Ah. <sighs> Um, Jamie, run for president so I can vote you in. You can always write me in. <laughs> <laughs> it won't count Surprise. for anything. Surprise. Surprise, you're the president. <laughs> All right, so Sunday we'll figure it out. Uh, okay, there's nothing else uh, on, on the agenda. Um, looking forward to the election being done. Um, uh, so my suggestion due to uh, other conflicts in schedules is to have the uh, next meeting on the 29th of February. Would that be okay? Um, yeah. No problem here. Actually, there, now that we're mentioning it, there is some things that uh, – because I've been wanting to talk about uh, what to do in case of an emergency, like a fallout mm-hmm. emergency if there was nuclear war, stuff like that. Um, yeah. I don't want to go full. I did want to talk about that. I have a lot of really good information that I've been able to come up with over time. Um, That's more than you can cover? Uh, I mean, it would be a good five, ten minutes worth of stuff. I okay. mean, I'm not going like, it's not like go full prepper. It's more like, go full Easter snowstorm, but like yeah. make it like the two week COVID type lockdown. Like that's sure. just like a perfect example um, of that, that COVID lockdown, but for two weeks, that's, that is good prep mental preparation for what it would be like for a fallout. Right. So we could definitely talk about that, what to do in case of emergency, um, what the resources are for you to get ready in case there's something like that. Um, Is that a video you would want to put together? Um, a separate video? No, because I'd rather have it still more question and answer just so I, I can bounce okay. the ideas off of you and you can keep – so I don't freeze up and the conversation can just flow more naturally. Um, it is something – I mean, a lot. there's a lot of good resources like FEMA and stuff like that that prevent – like – it shouldn't be treated like anything else other than a natural disaster or like what happened in New Orleans or, or like some natural disaster because the same preparation that you would do for like a really bad 100-year storm would be the mm-hmm. same as a fallout thing. Um, there's only just slight nuanced differences like you would stay inside, you would stay away from windows, you'd try and get down to the basement, like – almost like as if you were dealing with a tornado. You sure. would stay away from windows, stay and like, but the same thing, like where we're always ready. We always have extra water at my, like in my house, for example, we always have extra water and stuff, extra food, just in case we lose heat, we got a generator, you know, like the same preparations that you would have for a really bad storm are mm-hmm. the same preparation that you would have. Um, you go out and buy a twenty dollar gigameter, but it's really not gonna do any good because the thing with a the thing with a nuclear blast is if you are in the kill zone, it doesn't matter what preparations you have, you're already gone. You know, unless you're underground you're in, in a concrete bunker <laughs> with you know filtration system and lots of food. Yeah. Well, that's that's just it. That that's the proper mindset. But the proper sure. mindset actually doesn't help you because if you're that close where you need the concrete sunscreen, um, you're probably gone before you realize what hits you. Right. Uh, that only really is like a movie trope. In the real world, you're after about two weeks, if you're in the, not the immediate blast radius, but just beyond it, you just stay inside. Your your house walls that are insulated are going to take out most of that radiation. Um, 
you just have to stay away from the windows that are a little bit thinner. But for the most part, your house is a really good shield. Um, so just staying, like that whole COVID thing where you have to stay in for two weeks. If you are ready for COVID, you are ready for a nuclear blast, um, which is the sad truth. That is far enough away from you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if you're so close. We can talk about that. that. Yeah. So, I, mean, I, I guess we're going to digging up a mushroom cloud or nuclear explosion images <laughs> to use this our image. Or, I don't well, know. The whole, thing, the whole thing about mushroom clouds, we have bombs that are not nuclear that still create the mushroom cloud. The mushroom cloud... Oh, no, isn't, great. Yes. Yeah, it, that's just the shock wave. Um, sure. But you see how naturally this conversation just flowed? That's why I'd rather yes. just... I'd rather just do a Q&A, like a public service. I mean, because, yes, it is something to be concerned about, but we hardy New Englanders should be pretty well off and ready for it anyways. So, you know. All right, well, I will, I will dig up a suitable snow picture that I have. <laughs> <laughs> preparing, preparing for the maelstrom <laughs> in your neighborhood. Um, yeah, there's a there's a couple of links that I'll have for you ready to go. Like, there's one that's a really fun interactive chart for nuclear blasts, so you could like see like yeah. stuff like that, and um, obviously FEMA stuff like that. So, okay, sure, sounds like a good topic to do. Sadly, more relevant <laughs> than it was 20 years ago. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, it's good information for the general public to have. Yes. And, you know, we still could have a mega snowstorm, so you never know. Even though, you know, it's going to be 60 on Saturday. And then, uh, well, we're getting a snowstorm on Tuesday, but it's the wet, slushy end of the season stuff. Yeah. Uh, no, it's letting snow, unfortunately. Um, yeah. All right, so uh, if there's nothing else to discuss, shall we adjourn? Yes, please. Uh, one question for our next meeting is on the 29th? Correct. Just making sure I have that correct for the notes. Yep, yep. All right, I will uh, I will second the motion to adjourn. All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, thank you very much. Thank you for those watching this. Uh, you can find us at masspirates.org. Um, you can join our mailing list. There's, find us on social media. There's links in the description. We now have a Blue Sky account. Find us Mass Pirates at Blue Sky or bluesky.app slash masspirates.bluesky.app. I forget what it is. So anyways, um, we're on Facebook. We're not on TikTok. Should we get a TikTok? Ah, that's another thing for another day. Um, well, we're not going to get Instagram because they banned us. All right. With that, <laughs> I'm going to stop recording. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful week and uh, our wonderful several weeks. Stay warm and all that.